Voluntary responses. As infants and children age, researchers are increasingly able to study their understanding of their world through their voluntary responses. Voluntary responses are behaviors that a person completes by choice. For example, think about how you act when you go to a grocery store. You select whether to use a shopping cart or a basket. You decide which sections of the store to walk through. And you choose whether to stick to your grocery list or splurge on a treat. Importantly, these behaviors are completely up to you and under your control. Although they, although they do not do a lot of grocery shopping, infants and children also have voluntary control of their actions. Children, for instance, choose which toys to play with. Researchers study the voluntary responses of infants and young children in many ways. For example, developmental scientists study recall memory in infants and children by looking at voluntary responses. Recall memory is memory of past events or episodes, such as what did you do yesterday afternoon or on your last birthday. Whereas older children and adults are simply asked to talk about their past experiences, recall memory has to be studied in a different way in infants and young children who cannot discuss their past using language. To study memory in these subjects, researchers use a behavioral method known as elicited imitation. In the elicited imitation procedure, infants play with toys that are designed in a lab to be unlike the kinds of things that infants usually have at home. These toys, or event sequences as researchers call them, can be put together in certain ways to produce an outcome that infants commonly enjoy. One of these events is called Find the Surprise. For example, this toy has a door on the front that is held in place by a latch and a small plastic figure is hidden inside. During the first part of the study, infants play with the toy in whichever way they want for a few minutes. The researcher then shows the infant how to make the toy work by one, flipping the latch out of the way and two, opening the door revealing the plastic toy inside. The infant is allowed to play with the toy again, either immediately after the demonstration or after a longer delay. As the infant plays, the researcher records whether the infant finds the surprise using the same procedure that was demonstrated. Use of the elicited imitation procedure has taught developmental sci scientists a lot about how recall memory develops. For example, we know that six-month-old infants remember one step of a three-step se sequence for 24 hours. Nine-month-olds remember the individual steps that make up a two-event sequence for one month but only 50% of infants remember to do the first step of the sequence before the second. When children are about 20 months old, they remember the individual steps and in temporal order of four step events for at least 12 months. The longest delay that has been tested to date. Research Methods in Developmental Psychology by Angela Lakowski and Helen Milojevic is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License.